Yes. So thank you very much for attending the workshop so far. The six days, half days uh, workshop is quite long, I think. And then uh, I'd like to uh, conclude this uh, workshop by saying some some uh, additional information. So uh, we have uh, taught a lot of the uh, things in this uh, during these six days. And then uh, it, the aim is not to um, cover everything and then, or uh, that you, uh, you have gotten all the things as your skill already. But the, if it is something remaining in your back head and then can come back to the lesson materials and archive the uh, HackMD for the Q&As and also to come to our community to ask any questions, you're always more than welcome to do so. So please uh, go ahead to uh, learn together with your colleagues and then uh, work on the lesson material and then uh, uh, develop your skills further. And then as it says here that the code refinery is using the Zulip chat and this help stream is a place if you have any questions to ask and then get some advices. And also the, some universities are having uh, do very well. Uh, the biggest one is probably the old scientific computing at the Ulster University. If you're at the Ulster University, you're very lucky to get some help. And also in other countries as well, that there are uh, many facilities that you can uh, take advantage of. Here it shows that the Swedish National Infrastructure for Computing, the SNIC, and UVCC uh, were the tall uh, uh, previously or earlier today explained a little bit about, and CSC in Finland too. And then uh, if you are in Norway or Denmark or other countries, please uh, contact to your uh, university or the uh, code refinery member in the Zurich and then ask any further information. If we have any, then we probably can uh, pro provide any tips to you. Do you have any advice, Radovan or Anne, in terms of Norwegian? supporting facilities? If not, I can go further. So the advice there would be um, to write to the support line. I, I should add an email there and I will yep. do that. So I will add a link. And yes. uh, so there is also structure to support projects in improving efficiency and so um, Yeah, I will add it. Yeah, thank there you. There are many level of supports, but uh, I mean, the first level of support is your IT group mm. in your university yes and then there is a national sigma to support or yeah. national yes so please uh, try to contact to those uh, id people at university we will add some more info Thanks. yeah we will and then uh, uh, we uh, at the quarter finally, many of our staff are also involved in the nordic rse the research software engineer community and here uh, we are exchanging the knowledge and the skills and experiences. And we, you will find information uh, about this Nordic RSE in this uh, page. And then uh, we're going to have an unconference, some uh, un, un informal social event at the end of June. And then please submit uh, the talks about the technology related topics. And then uh, it will be quite cultural atmosphere. And then uh, just try to make sort of this uh, coffee conversation on, over the online situation. So uh, please uh, join us if you think this is relevant and interesting to you. And uh, the research software hour is uh, hosted mainly by the Richard and Radovan and Anne, uh, who are talking about these uh, tricks and techniques that are useful for this uh, research software engineering. And then uh, every, uh, not every, bi-weekly on Thursday at uh, 8.30 in Oslo, Stockholm time, and then at 9.30 Helsinki time, uh, they, are, uh, tweet, they are using this Twitch, the same um, same platform as we are now using for this workshop, but a different channel to talk about this uh, uh, same theme. Uh, Seem to talk. And then uh, there was a uh, demonstrate the uh, many different topics. And then uh, today, actually, they are going to talk about the great questions that are given in this um, uh, during this workshop on the HackMD. So uh, please uh, check out. And then uh, the old 
all uh, videos are archived in the YouTube, so please check out them as well. Do you, Radovan or Anne or Richard, have anything to say in addition? So what I can say is that we have a plan, ambitious plan to actually stream tonight. And what we want to do is we want to take some of the very good questions from this workshop and have a discussion around them. So we, I think we want to select 10, 15 questions from the past six days and talk about these. So that's the plan for tonight. Yes, thank you very much. And then uh, in the Twitch that you can uh, send a message via the chat as well. And then we also use that HackMD there too. So uh, it will be really interactive uh, show. So please join. And we always uh, welcome all the all types of the constructive feedback. And then we welcome very good positive feedback as well. So please do not remember to uh, to compliment us if you want. <laughs> And then uh, as uh, the HackMD, as always, uh, we accept all the uh, feedback uh, at the bottom of the HackMD. And you can also send an email to the support desk of the support at quadrifinary.org. And then uh, also, uh, if you are, if you want to be more involved, then uh, please contact to us. We have bi-weekly meetings and then uh, it is also open uh, so that uh, you can join and then uh, discuss with us for the uh, further sustainability plan, etc. cetera. Radovan, do you have anything to add? No. Okay. Yes, and then uh, now the code refinery is uh, in this uh, current format uh, towards the end of the phase two. And then uh, we are now uh, trying to transit to the more sustainable uh, format. And then uh, now Alto University and uh, uh, ENCCS is a partner organization and we will be more we will be going to be more like that type of the format. And then uh, uh, we are always uh, welcoming every feedback to both lesson materials and coordination and also this uh, format, etc. So uh, please tell us uh, and help the code refinery to sustain longer. And we are very happy to see that many exercise leaders uh, joined um, in as the second time the exercise leader in this workshop. And also like that, we are very happy to see the many team registrations in this workshop. And then uh, to tell the truth that this is absolutely the biggest workshop that we have ever had. We got uh, uh, 240 signups, including this uh, Twitch viewers as well. So so that's the, uh, we want to even uh, scale up and then uh, always welcome the team registration. So the, those who joined us in a single learner this time, please um, uh, disseminate this opportunity to the others. And the next time, please come back as an exercise leader and then bring your own group and then uh, learn together with your group. Yes, and then... Uh, the lesson materials are all uh, CCBY and then it is totally open to use. So that the uh, priest, uh, um, try, priest uh, what's it called? Uh, try to uh, investigate. And then uh, if you have any suggestions for the improvement, uh, send the issues and then even PRs, that will be most welcome. And then, uh, yeah, otherwise, so also this join as the contributor or the training hub and then. Uh, try to disseminate this uh, rest of material too. Do you have anything, Radovan? Yeah, and if you also uh, open issues, open pull requests, now we all know how to do that. Um, if you see that there is something to change, something to improve, really open to ideas. Also, if you found this useful, please tell your group leaders, managers, deans, people who decide about funding, because we think it's useful, we think it's fun, we think it's important, it needs to be done. We are struggling to for funding like any other project. If so, it will help us to if people ask for this, because then we can document that people ask for it. So we should do more of this. So please give us more money and let us work on it. But we will work on it in any case. But uh, your your help here is super super appreciated. Yes. 
And then uh, in the, towards the end, there's uh, some practical things that uh, if you would like to have a certificate by participating in this workshop, please email to the support desk. And the code refinery is also offering GitLab service. So that's the, if you are interested in, uh, please uh, take a look at this coderefinery.org's uh, GitLab uh, service page as well, and also to contact to the support desk. And then in the end, that uh, we I would like to thank very much to the instructors and the exercise leaders and expert helpers and all those who participated in this workshop to make an in, in, inclusive and positive learning environment. Thanks so much to all of you. It was it would not be possible without all the contributions. And also special thanks to Naoe for coordinating this effort, for keeping all the threads in one place. Um, Thanks to, do we have the time to name everybody? I think we have, and I think it's it, it gives me a lot of pleasure to actually mention everybody who contributed. So thanks to Richard for managing an hour registration and uh, the technical setup, the technical production, Diana and Samantha for, I mean, outreach towards uh, sending these emails, hosting, the, hosting these events. Samantha for coordinating onboarding of exercise leads. There is uh, instructors and expert helpers, so Anne, Johan, Patrick, Diana, Anni, Juho, Stefan, Jano, Sabri, Marijn, Tor, Samantha, thank you so much. And really, I think a key ingredient to scale to this size are the exercise leads. Thanks so much to Niket, Octavian, Thomas, Flavio, Ted, Luca, Marco, Manuel, Luke, Shashank, Patrick, Suniva, Stig, Matush, Alberto, Lesetia, Pavlin, Devarayu, Fabrizio, Massimo, Evgeny, Ankita, Anajiat, Aili, Janetta, Ingrid, Naue, Will. Apologies if I mispronounced. Oh, we so much appreciate. I hope I didn't forget anything. I forgot one thing, and it was to thank Patrick for the Twitter outreach. We look forward to, to more. Thanks for listening and watching. Thank you very much. Have a nice day, Beyond.